The Africa Cup of Nations 2019 has finally started and Egypt stunned the world with the opening ceremony. The visuals and choreography left us all in awe. Yet, before we all witnessed greatness on our television screens, the tournament's organizing committee decided to remove the stunning statues made by Egyptian artist Hazem Tork. A large statue of Anubis showed up on social media and soon everyone started joking about the presence of the ancient Egyptian god of death at Cairo Stadium. Shortly after the social media backlash, it was announced that the statue will be removed from the ceremony. Regardless of what the statue represents, the artwork is exquisite. Foam art guru, Hazem Tork, shared his work on social media for AFCO and 2019. The organizing company asked Tork to sculpt statues of four ancient Egyptian deities, Anubis, Set, Horus, and Bastet. In just eight days, Tork, along with his partner Walid Gouda and five assistants, managed to finish the four-meter-long statues. As god of embalming and the dead, the afterlife and lost souls, Anubis is one of the most prominent and mystical gods of ancient Egypt. He was known since the earliest periods in the history of the civilization that was based near the Nile River. This god was first mentioned during the First Dynasty period, but it is possible that future research may show that he was present even before then. It is interesting to note however, that the name Anubis was unknown before the Greeks arrived in Egypt. To date, archaeologists have not unearthed any monumental temple dedicated to this god. His temples are tombs and cemeteries. The major centers of his cult were located in Aishat, Lycopolis, and Hardao, Sinopolis. His name appears in the oldest known mastabas, mud brick tombs, of the first dynasty and several shrines to the god have been found. For example, a shrine and a cemetery of mummified dogs and jackals was discovered at Anbeon, a place located to the east of Saqqara. It seems that during the reign of the first dynasties he was even more significant than Osiris. This changed during the Middle Kingdom period, but Anubis continued to be one of the most important deities. Anubis was one of the deities that could also work against humans. He was independent, sometimes helpful, but sometimes punished humans as well. One of his main roles was the guardian of the scales. This was related to the belief that after death a person meets the gods who put his or her heart on a special scale. The scenes of the weighing of the heart ceremony from the Book of the Dead present Anubis, who measured if the person was worthy enough to live an eternal life. Thus, Anubis could decide the soul's fate. The god Anubis was usually depicted as a jackal and sometimes as a man, but he was always in black, which was a color connected with desolation and rebirth. Anubis had a female counterpart named Anthet, and a daughter, who was the serpent goddess Kebriket. He was also associated with the god Apuat, another deity with canine features. Anubis was also the patron of lost souls, including orphans. During the Greek period, he was associated with the god Hermes. The Greeks created a composite deity called Hermanubis as well. They decided to combine Hermes as a messenger of the gods with Anubis who guided the dead to meet them. Over time, Hermanubis became related to Herpocrates in the eyes of the Romans, a popular god for alchemists and philosophers during the Renaissance. Anubis' main roles were embalming the body, guiding the soul, and protecting the tomb. According to an Osiris myth, he helped Isis embalm her husband. Due to this story, the priests who worked during the mummification process wore masks with a jackal face. Moreover, the legends say that when Osiris was killed by Set his organs became a gift for Anubis. This started a tradition of offering him some parts of the dead. Real jackals were prone to digging bodies out of shallow graves and eating them. Ancient Egyptians made Anubis the guardian of cemeteries and the god of embalming to turn a negative force into a positive one.